All right, everybody, welcome back to my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection 30th Anniversary Special, in which we're going to be playing Jeopardy for the PlayStation 3. Uh, eventually. Yeah, there we go. See how we did. Mm -hmm. I think we'll need to restart it. All right, we'll just have to restart. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. 
Clothes are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Lenin. The elements. Countries by newspaper. The Old Testament. B+. Plus. And who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. All right, let's get back into the shoeless. Yes, player one? Hey, you're right. It's one over par on a hole of golf. Player one? Correct. It speaks to Moses in Exodus 3. Yes, player one? Correct. <laughs> Able to speak both Spanish and English. Player one? That's it. This type of drug relaxes the smooth muscles in the airways, causing them to open. Player one? That's correct. You again, player one. El Sol de Tehuacan, the Acapulco Times. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. The Brunswickan, the Edmonton Examiner. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> you heard it. Idiot Akronot. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> that is correct. With the Cape Times, the Volksblad. Player one. <laughs> that is correct. Player one, the Daily Punjab, the Balochistan Post. Okay, player one. Oh. Mm. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we were looking for. Pakistan. You again, player one. Because sound travels 2.7 times faster in this gas than in air, inhaling it makes your voice higher. Player one? Yes. Player Neon, one? argon, and radon are among these gases formerly called rare or inert. Okay, player one? Correct. <laughs> Player one. Superman knows its atomic number is 36. Okay, Player one. Right you are. This very hard metal is named for the children of Uranus and Gia. Player one. That's right, way to go. Player Harold one. Croto and others found this common element had a new molecular form, the fullerene. Yes, player one? <laughs> Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the response we were looking for. Carbon. Player one. For his subversive activities, Lenin was banished to this region in 1897. It's player one. Oh, good. Player Lenin one. returned to Russia from Europe following the overthrow of the Tsar in this year. Okay, player one. Hey, you're right. Player Lenin one. led this majority revolutionary faction to power in the October Revolution. Let's hear it, Player One. Correct. 
Following the establishment of a dictatorship, Lenin changed his political party's name to this. Yes, player one? That is correct. After Lenin's death in 1924, this man began purging rivals and eventually took over the top spot. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. <laughs> player one. This book says Noah's Ark was 300 cubits in length, making it about 500 feet long. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> Jacob and this other twin son of Rebecca even struggled against each other in their mother's womb. It's player one. Right. <laughs> player one. In Samuel 28, the prophet Samuel appears to King Saul and predicts his defeat by this group. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> According to the Bible, she was not only Abraham's wife, she was also his half-sister. It's player one. Good. Deuteronomy may mean second law, but it's this number book of the Old Testament. Okay, player one. That is correct. Player one. 24 star Kiefer. It's player one. Correct. Player Actress one. Jamie Lee. Player one. Good. Player one. International pop star Enrique. It's player one. Player one. Boxer turned dancer, Lila. Okay, player one. Good for you. And the last clue for $1,000. And so, it's the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. Here is your clue. Emmy and Tony Award winning actress, Amanda. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player two will select first in double jeopardy right after this. Categories for the double jeopardy round are... Libraries. SNL actors in the movies. 18th century America. Did you plan it that way? Right on, soldier. And language lab, player two, you start. Most languages of Western Europe get their words for read and write from this language's leggere and scrivere. Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Yes, player three? Nope. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. That's correct. Hochdeutsch is the modern standard form of this language. Let's hear it, player one. Right. Player one. Answer. One of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Player one, please select your wager. And the clue. The pinyin system for writing this language in the English alphabet was officially adopted January 1st, 1979.
You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player In one. In French, Hier Henri Meme, Yesterday Henry Loved Me, is an example of this flawed past tense. Okay, player one. No, that's not right. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. The imperfect. Player one. Douglas Hyde, also known as Ancreven Ethan, fought to preserve this language and founded a league of the same name. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. Player one, you pick again, please. Born in 1752, she was trained as an upholsterer and could make and repair curtains, bed covers, rugs, and even umbrellas. Yes, player one? Right you are. Player one, here's Kelly from our Clue Crew with the clue. After leaving the presidency in 1797, George Washington retired to this Virginia estate. Okay, player one. Right. Player In April one. of 1777, Congress made this pamphleteer secretary to the Committee on Foreign Affairs. Player one. Good. Answer. The other daily double. And you're in the lead now. What'll it be? And the clue. Samuel Slater settled in Rhode Island and built America's first successful cotton spinning machines driven by this power. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. You, from May to November of 1763, Chief Pontiac tried to drive the British from this city, now the biggest in its state. Yes, player one? That's correct. Select again. Orbiting at about 67 million miles, it's the second planet from the sun. It's player one. Right. Player its one. moon Ganymede is the largest in the solar system. Let's hear it, player one. Good. The least dense planet in the solar system. It would actually float if you could find a big enough tub to put it in. Yes, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? The correct response is Saturn. Player one, choose again. In 2005, NASA experimented with a low pressure greenhouse to grow plants on this carbon dioxide rich planet. Player one? Oh, sorry. That's incorrect. Any other takers? The correct response is Mars. You get to pick again. In 1781, it became the first planet discovered in modern times. Player one. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this?
Here is the correct response. Uranus. Player one, back to you for our... This country's national library, the Biblioteca Nacional José Martí, was financed by a tax on sugar. Okay, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. Right you are. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. The Hector Hodler Library in Rotterdam, which is devoted to this artificial language, has over 15,000 books. It's player one. Right you are. Player when one. his presidential library was dedicated in 1991, four former presidents were in attendance. Okay, player one. Good. This Shakespeare library, named for this standard oil man, is run by Amherst College. Okay, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Yes, player three. That's right, there you go. You've got some money again. Player three, where do we start? The Radcliffe Camera, Britain's first round library, is the main reading room of this bigger library at Oxford. Player one. Right. Where do we begin, player one? Wayne Campbell. Okay, player one. That's correct. Axel Foley. Yes, player one. Oh, good. Player Joliet one. Jake Blues. Let's, Let's hear, hear it, player one. one. No, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. Oh, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Player two. Right. Player two, start us. A student at Sandhurst, he later served in British military intelligence before creating his British super spy. Player one. Good. Player one, this author of Starship Troopers was a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. Let's hear it, player one. Great. Player Lou one, Wallace served as a major general in this war before penning Ben Hur. Okay, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. The Civil War. You get to Edward Gibbon was a captain in the Hampshire Grenadiers before writing the decline and fall of this empire. Okay, player one. Good. This Grecian fought at Salamis and Marathon. His 70 plays include the Oresteia and Prometheus Bound. It's player one. That is correct. Player one, MacGruber. Okay, player one. Good for you. And the $2,000 clue? Mrs. Primat Conehead.
Player one. Yep. Sorry, player three. Your score is not on the positive side, so you will not be joining us for Final Jeopardy. This is the Final Jeopardy category for today. Championship Sports. Please enter your way. Here's the clue for you. In 2007, this university became the first to hold national titles in both football and basketball in the same year. And your response? Florida. And that's yep, correct. Yeah, and I got it right. Well, so I ended up with two hundred thousand dollars. I'll see y'all for another you game. What is your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? This makes you our new champion, player one. So congratulations. We'll see you all next time.